How you doing? Great. Now that you're here. Bill, the boys are back. <laughs> the boys are back. Can you introduce yourself? You know who I am. Pat Elfline. The, the Ohio State. Andrew. The Ohio State. That's going to tenure. You're pretty tight with Taylor Decker. I know that, obviously. What would you think of his first year with the Lions? Taylor had a great year with the Lions. Um, first round pick, really cool. Went in and, and played at a high level. So I know a lot of people were proud of him for what he did. And uh, yeah, he did a great job. What's the best piece of advice he gave you, if anything, about this experience of you know, going to the NFL? The um, yeah, he's been prepping me a lot for this whole experience and pretty much just taking me through what's going to happen each day, um, how the medical exams are going to go. How it's always you're always on the move. You're gonna be tired, so just prep me for that and let and letting me know what to expect has definitely been a big help. And to play next to him if you ever had that chance again. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Can you just talk about what it's like coming over this guy's like his office every day in practice in the NFL and obviously just having that experience against guys of that caliber, even at the collegiate level, knowing you're playing against pro caliber. You know? Yeah. Um, that's what you get when you go to Ohio State, and I feel like that's why we were able to get pretty good at times because of the talent you go against in practice. So um, you had Joey Bosa, Dolphus Washington, um, you know, Jonathan Hankins, John Simon, I mean, our linebackers, Darren Lee. Everyone's an NFL, NFL caliber player, so you go against that talent every day. And I think that's why we have a good track record of of NFL guys transitioning well to the NFL and playing at a high level. Pat, how much have you changed physically since the end of the season? Um, I think I've definitely changed a lot. Uh, changed my eating habits completely, and I think that's what mainly what what it is. So I've definitely got leaner, got stronger, and just and I'm healthier, in better shape. Uh, I feel great. It's the best I've ever felt. So do you think like? Did you need a different body type for the pros as opposed to college? Like what, what went into, I guess, making these changes now as opposed to a couple years ago? So you that way. Um, I don't think you necessarily need them. I think it's an advantage of being leaner, uh, carrying less body fat, and just being more efficient with everything. Uh, just not only in football, but for your, just your general health. So uh, my trainer is very knowledgeable on that subject, and he puts the rookies through uh, kind of like a, a camp through physically and, and the way you eat. Um, yeah, I think it's going to it's gonna help me a good, good amount. What sort of advantage is it, you think, coming from a more of a pro-style offense and some of these wide-open spreads that a lot of teams and a lot of offensive linemen have struggled with the NFL? What's the question? What sort, what sort of advantage is it for to come from an offense that is a little more pro-style leading than some of the wide-open spread offenses and where the offensive linemen have struggled with the NFL? Um, we didn't have a pro-style. We ran a spread. No, I, I know, but it was what? a little more... It wasn't, wasn't the Texas Tech, you know, Washington right. State sort of um, Just being familiar and how to run those plays. Um, yeah, just I feel like mentally it's just, it just preps you more. A way you can go in and, and make an easy transition into the playbook, which is ultimately, ultimately where it all begins mentally. So I think it just makes that transition smoother. Pat, you play guard and center both at a high level. What have you been telling teams that play in the NFL? Um, I tell him I'd play either, obviously. Um, told him that I have experience starting at right, left, guard, and center, and that I'm able to play all three and switch around, be versatile, and I feel like that's a, a good marketing tool for me. So I just tell him whatever, whatever the need is, I can do it and do it at a high level. Pat, you made that move because Ohio State needed you to make that move uh, from guard to uh, center. And when you made that move, you became an award winner for the best center in the country. When did that move click for you, and what do you think um, helped you along the way? If there's a moment or a, a time where you can recall it clicking because of how much success you had at that center position change? Um, I can remember the very first game against Bowling Green where I haven't taken – I've always kind of been the backup, but I haven't really taken many competitive snaps out in a game at center. And I just remember that game, my first full-time game at center, where I played at a high level, and I was like, all right, like right, I'm going to do this just like I did at guard. So that's when I kind of felt 
really comfortable and kind of got in my groove at playing center. What are the main differences between guard and center? Where do you think the biggest, and the reason why I ask is you obviously know Billy is attempting to do what you did. Right. Um, what are the biggest pieces of advice you might give Billy, and what do you think were the most challenging things you had to overcome to make that position switch? Um, the most challenging is definitely the mental aspect. You have to be the confident leader on that line when you're at center. So not just you know knowing the offense to yourself and knowing what defense you're going against. You have to portray your confidence throughout the line to kind of make everyone else feel confident. So in fact, just having the ability to do that is huge. Probably the toughest thing. Um, being able to portray that confidence throughout your, your line mates to make them feel comfortable. And then just going out and and playing like you know what you're doing and knowing how to execute everything. So well, Knowing Billy's personality, it seems like that would be something that would come natural to him. Yeah, Billy's going to do that. I think Billy's going to do exactly what I did and, and win all the accolades postseason and, and do all that. How much did he talk to you about the switch? Because um, he chose to do what you did, come right. back for a fifth year. To yeah. Back um, yeah, we definitely talked about it a lot. And Billy was, you know, always had a little bit of center background too. He's taken... Uh, uh, he's been at center for a few spring ball, spring ball sessions. So he's always had that ability, and I think he's going to transition well through this spring and just kind of build his confidence up. And then the guys around him will get more confidence in him once they see him. Were you ever surprised at how naturally it seemed to come for you? The fact that, I mean, not that you didn't put in the work, but the fact that you were standing on the NCAA awards stage for the best center of the country when you weren't even a center 12 months earlier. Do you ever? Think about that. Surprised by how naturally that came for you? Yeah, it's it's pretty cool to think about it like that. Um, but yeah, like like you said, I've got a lot of reps at center, and it just the transition was just smooth for me. And um, just a credit to all the people around me who helped me make that transition. Um, Jacoby Boren, he helped me make that transition a lot. Um, if there's any any questions about the mental aspect of the game. You know, he's someone you can go to, and he had the answer every time. Every time he had an answer for you. So even when I was a guard, I wanted to know why something was going on, or I would go to Jacoby, and he, you know, he helped me make that transition mentally, which, like I said earlier, is I think the toughest transition or aspect of the transition. What would you say is your pitch to the NFL? What's your pitch to the NFL team? What, what do you bring? I can play left guard, center, and right guard at a high level, and I can, yeah. Um, yeah, I met, I met with, I think, almost every team, so yeah. At the next level, obviously you did a lot of shotgun pistol at Ohio State. At the next level, there's not as much of that. Right. Is snapping the ball, snapping the ball, and you have to make an adjustment? Yeah, it's definitely uh, a little different. So you just got to get more reps of that and get comfortable doing that. Just as if you were going under center a lot, then you have to make that adjustment to go in shotgun snap. So it's just, it's a minor adjustment. Just got to get reps at it and get comfortable doing it. Do you have a favorite Zeke Elliott memory or story? Uh, yeah, got a few. Um, one, the, the play against Alabama when he took off and scored that touchdown. Remember when we used to do the salmon all the time? And he did that a lot, which is very, you know, we remember him for that. Zeke kind of brought the salmon alive. Um, <laughs> man, just... What a guy Zeke is. What a guy. What's kind of this week been to be? You said Taylor kind of briefed you on like how intense this is and how you don't get a break ever. Yeah. What's it kind of been like? Has it been what you expected or more intense or what? Yeah, it's definitely a grind. Uh, this place is a machine. How they're pumping guys through, doctor exams, left and right. You know, it's just one after another full examination of everything. So I mean, those teams are knowing what they're getting. It's, it's actually a pretty cool process when you take a step back and look at it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's everything that I was prepped on. It's, you're up, I mean, yesterday I was up at four for a drug test and was busy all the way until 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Just constantly talking to people, psychological testing, informal, formal interviews with teams. Um, just, it's a grind, but it's, it's really exciting. This is the dream. Pat, you were a big part of the 2015 team, obviously, um, that had that major class a year ago. What do you remember about the 2015 team um, at Ohio State, all the talent? And is that a season that 
for all the things that you accomplished at your career might stick out as something that you wish might have gone differently? Um, yeah, I mean, at Ohio State, you want to win a championship every year, so obviously we didn't do that. And I think that team's going to go down as one of the most talented teams ever in college football, so that's definitely going to stand out. But what also is going to stand out is how we faced adversity through the end of the season and came back and, and beat two really good teams in a handily fashion at the end of the season. So that's what's going to stick out to me most. And just all those great players that got drafted, just they were great guys too. And just to be on the same team as them was uh, pretty cool. So I look forward to it. Did you get invited to the senior role? Yes. And you turned it down? Yes. What one of the other decisions you um, Just decided that the best wasn't the best decision for me at the time. Okay. Was it anything to do with, like, I know you had been coming back from the shoulder and stuff. I didn't know, like, physically maybe you didn't want to be put that toll on yourself. No. Shoulder's feeling good. Bench today. So um, just at the time, it wasn't the best decision for me. I got 22 reps. Um, it's okay right now, but I'm, I'm going to do more at uh, Pro Day. What you weigh in at? 303. Is that what you your chalk work? Because we saw some photos where you were working with Charles that you had kind of toned some things up. Yeah, I definitely got leaner, and I put on some weight. So I think I put on some muscle mass, um, lost lost some, some uh, body fat, and I'm feeling great. Hey, more questions you, here. What do you enjoy most about playing this um, being in control, being the guy, I think center's uh, like a marquee position, especially on the whole offense. So it's kind of that swagger that goes along with the position is pretty cool. Coming back to the shoulder, you're going through a position change too. Do you think being able to overcome that adversity and have the success in it will help you as a result? Yeah, facing any adversity I feel um, helps you. So. Just using the experience, because no matter what, you're gonna face adversity in life, no matter if on the football field, in life, family, whatever it may be. So I feel like overcoming any adversity helps prep you for what, what life you know, holds in front of you. Hey, Pat, you were one of the guys that committed to Ohio State during a very rough transitional time for the program. Um, the coach wasn't there yet, and it was just, you loved Ohio State. When you look at the the way the program is now versus the program that you entered, what can you say about the growth of the program? And did you ever think being a three-star from Pickerington would turn out to you being on this podium right now? Man, pretty cool. Um, no, I never thought that being, you know, barely making it to Ohio State, that I'd be on this podium at the, at the combine, and I still reflect on it every chance I can. Thanks for bringing it up again because it, it's put a big smile on my face. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a dream come true. I'm living my dream every day. And to have the career that I had at Ohio State, really not knowing what I was going into, just knowing that I wanted to be a Buckeye, it's, I don't think you could write a better story. So be a part of that. And not only myself, my family is pumped about everything. And they're on their way to Indy right now to watch tomorrow. So uh, it's going to be another step in the journey, and we're all excited to be a part of it. All right, thank you. All right. No more questions.